Yeah, um, been an exciting year for us already, um, but uh, but now we get into to postseason competition. You know, this week, um, starting with the SEC championships, and then as we look a month out from now, uh, both the women's and then the men's NCAA championships. Um, but um, I, I really like where we are right now uh, in the development in our program, certainly this season, um, but what we've done over the past three years and um, – Excited. We, we have a really veteran crew on our, on our men's side, men and women, um, you know, really led by um, our seniors on, on both sides uh, and, and excited to see them um, really at the peak of their performance this coming week um, at the SEC championship. So uh, appreciate you guys Let me hop in and, um, you know, Bruce get kicking us off with college game day here tomorrow. So uh, but uh, it's, it's exciting as, as the pool begins to transform into championship mode uh, as we host it. And, and it's really important for our student athletes to have this championship on our campus. Questions? Yeah. Coach, you mentioned just kind of the development of the last three years and this year's a, this year especially. But just like as far as that goes, what have you seen this year that's really stuck out to you as far as? Yeah, again, I, I got to go back to our senior leadership on, on both sides. Um, I think especially the development where, where our women have come along over the past three years. Um, you know, with, with seniors like uh, Megan Lee and, and Hannah Owenby and Kensley Merritt ha have really kind of shaped the trajectory of where we're going. And not only are they performance leaders for us, but they've been incredible leaders in the locker room all year long. Um, on the men's side, we have a very similar crew, you know, a fifth year, Aiden Stoffel, uh, third year now that he's been a captain for us. Uh, and guys like Michael Bonson. Um, you know, th those guys, Mason Mathias is a junior as a captain this year. Those guys are veterans. Those guys are all NCAA All-Americans. Um, they've been battle tested. And, and now, you know, when, when you go into a meet like this uh, or you, you step up to the blocks at the NCAA championships, having people that have been there, have performed at the highest level um, and been able to be leaders for you all year long, um, it really helps uh, for our youngsters. And, and especially, again, going back to our women's side, we have a lot of freshmen on the roster this year. Uh, we're about 40% freshmen, so having that senior leadership, having them being teaching, learning, helping them through this, their first SEC championships, uh, because we expect a lot from our freshmen on the women's side this year to, to really play a big role for us. Just, Coach, obviously there's a lot of talk about you know, the SEC expanding in the terms of football, but, I mean, just your thoughts on, obviously, Texas, sure. um, you know, is, is going to be a competitor in the SEC, and obviously they're both on, uh, you know, both pools, men's and women's. Yeah, I mean, adding Texas into the league, it, I mean, it <laughs> Oklahoma doesn't sponsor swimming and diving, but, but adding those two programs in the league, just like in every single sport, um, you know, adds to the incredible depth in, in the conference. Um, you know, this league, just like it is in, in every single sport, um, it's it's a it's a war every single day, um, and and you go into a championship meet like this, um, you know we we are the deepest and most competitive league in the country, and so you want to be in a league like that because not only um, does it ha does it raise your game, um, it raises everybody's game, but most importantly for us as we look forward from a week like this to the NCAA championships. A meet like this is it, it's a can't miss opportunity you know so so if you're if you're just a little bit off in the prelims in the morning you don't get a second swim at night um, if you look at the depth of the league from we score down to to 24th place in every single race if you look down from 1 to 24 the margin from first to 24th is you know in some of those races is a fingernail almost um, and that's what you're going to see at, at the NCAA championships as well too so it gives you great preparation as you move forward adding a team like Texas into the league their women were one runners up at the NCAA championships last year their men have been perennial you know NCAA champions over the past you know five decades um, you know they're, they're really the gold standard in our sport you know it just again it adds to the competitive excellence of this league um, and, and really heightens everybody's game. So it's a big challenge to have them come in, but it's it's exciting. You want to test yourself against the, the very best in the country. I guess following up on that, just kind of with Texas also being a school that, that's hosted you know national championships in, in the past, what does that do just for the exposure of an already you know a strong league? But 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 to, to add another school like that to kind of get more eyes on the sport than maybe. Sure. I mean, it's it's huge. It's huge for our sport um but but also you know where, where we are as a program you know I, I, 
when I was a student athlete here, we were battling against Texas for NCAA championships. Um, and so that's, that's why I came back here to, uh, to, to, to coach here at this institution because this is an institution where you can chase national championships. This is a program. We are a blue blood in the sport of, of swimming and diving. And so, um, you know, as you bring them back into the league, it allows us to say, okay, this is where we are. This is where we rank up against um, some of these teams that, that have been perennial, um, you know, top teams in the country. And so having a team like Texas where we can measure in and, and their longtime head coach, Eddie Reese, is retiring this year um, after almost uh, 40 years. Um, he actually left Auburn to go to University of Texas about 40 years ago. Uh, but um, so, so they're going to go through a little bit of changes on, on the men's side next year. Um, but that's, that's the fun of this is, you know, a little bit of changing in the guard, how they continue to stack up against the rest of the league and the country. Um, I'm sure they're going to continue to be chasing national championships. But for our teams, for our programs, uh, both on the men and women's side, it gives us a measuring stick to say, okay, this is, this is what it takes to be a national championship contender. This is how we need to be able to move into that range. What's it, what's it mean to host an event like the SEC Championships? I know four years ago Auburn hosted, and I just remember the place being electric. And, yeah. and what's it mean to have that here? Well, it's huge. It's it, it's a little bit different environment than what you're going to see out there uh, tomorrow, um, you know. But but it being on our campus is is um, it's massive for our student athletes. It's massive for our program. Um, the opportunity for them to be able to compete in their home pool um, is certainly advantageous for us because, you know, you get to race in the pool that you train in every single day. Um, you know every little crack on the bottom of the pool. You know what the flags look like, what the wall's coming in. And the pool changes a little bit in championship mode. The lights are a little bit brighter. There's more people in the building. Um, but, but having the comfort of home from, for our student athletes is, is huge. Um, and, and you add the emotional element to that. Um, that's, you know, in, in the same way you see when these guys play in the jungle, it, 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 it heightens you. It, it, it allows you the opportunity at least to, um, you know, perform outside of what you think is even physically capable. So um, having a competition like this on our campus is, is a lot of fun. Um, it's, it's a lot of work for a lot of people on this campus, so I'm incredibly grateful for our facility managers, our game day operations crew that have done a great job in preparation for that. Um, and, and done all the things to uh, to give our student athletes the best opportunity to be at their best. Thank you.